Hi everyone, and welcome to week one of the CMU Webinars for Best. My name is Jesse Flott, and I'll just be talking about some of the different resources that are available to you, and also some of the different uh, Robot C features that will help you out along the way. Now, in order to help support you, uh, we've also put together a number of websites full of resources. So I'm going to go over those here shortly. The first web page that I'd like to bring to your attention is our Fire web page. You can get there by going to fire.cs.cmu.edu. Now, Fire stands for Fostering Innovation Through Robotics Exploration. And of course, one of the ways to foster innovation through robotics is through a robotics competition. So if you go to Competitions, Best Competitions, you'll find resources specifically for you. The very first of which I'll point out is at the top of the page, the Best Forums. If at any point you have questions you'd like to ask, head to the Best Forums and ask them there. Because not only will they be answered there, they'll also be answered in webinar. We'll actually be using the questions to guide the webinars so that we know that we're answering the questions that you have. Below the link for the forums is a link to download Robot-C. So if you're planning on using Robot-C to program your Cortex, go ahead and click this link to head to a page where you can download Robot-C. I'll actually show you this page in a minute. Now below the download link for Robot-C, we also have a set of setup instructions for getting you started with your Cortex. The very first step is to actually build a robot with your Cortex, and we've provided instructions in the form of a PDF here. Now this set of instructions will take you step by step to build your robot using the Cortex. Uh, it lists all of the parts that you need and has every step in detail along with hints. So if you've never built with the VEX before, no worries, this is a very uh, thorough set of instructions. Also, one nice thing is that it's designed to only use the standard set of metal a uh, few sensors, and the Cortex, so you don't have to buy a whole lot of extra metal to build this robot. Next are a sequence of videos that take you step by step, again, uh, with setting up your Cortex and the VexNet remote control so that it's ready to be programmed using Robot-C. And now each of these is fully narrated, has pictures, uh, animations, and screen captures, so they really go in-depth, not skipping over any steps with how to set up your robot. Now in the next step, you download a Robot-C sample program to your robot. So you actually get to see, you know, a performing a behavior, get to see the code, uh, and try all of that out. And in the final section, you actually start to use that sample program, learn the different parts, uh, and make changes so that your robots behave.